right so let us come back to the next topic that is molecularity of a reaction so gradually we have just come back like we've learned the definitions we gradually came into the differences then we have learned uh, the factors affecting rate of the reaction now let us come back and learn this concept the easiest topic i should say <laughs> this question is given to you don't get confused it's just writing the number of molecules so when i have to define the molecularity of a reaction so let us start uh, first mention write uh, the subheading definition and start with your answer so what is molecularity of a reaction just start either in uh, using the right because your sentence formation really counts in your definition so start the reacting species okay what are these reacting species the reacting species can be your atoms it can be molecules or it can be ions right so your reacting species where should they participate so the reacting species like don't write SPSPs, write the full form. Reacting species like atoms, molecules and ions participating, participating in the rate determining, rate determining elementary step. Okay, I have written so many terms here. Let us know what rate determining elementary reaction or rate determining step you can end this here also rate determining step in uh, in elementary action okay so what is rate determining step rate determining step is the slowest step of the particular reaction that slowest step only determines the <coughs> uh, we call it as that particular slowest step in the whole reaction is the rds of that particular system right that's the main uh, concept so elementary reaction as i said it is a reaction which occurs in one step right so rem suppose if i have a reaction like a giving me b so what is the mole molecularity how many are participating the molecularity here is one suppose if i have a reaction a plus b giving me c plus d here the molecularity is two number of reacting species suppose if there is a plus b plus c giving me d plus e right the number of reacting species is three so the molecularity is three right now based on the molecularity you have three types of reactions okay the first type let us write make a table right so the first type of reaction is are called unimolecular reactions so unimolecular reactions bimolecular reactions and rx rx and we call it as tri or ter molecular reaction both are same don't get confused yes don't get confused let us see now when i come back to unimolecular reaction there is only one reactant participating in the rds that is rate determining step that is your slowest step suppose if i pick up a basic example right cyclobutane you can write any example here but i'm just picking up this cyclobutane what is cyclobutane but means four carbons one two three and four yes to this carbon one two so two this is also joined to this two this carbon one two again two this carbon two yes this is cyclobutane now to this cyclobutane if i'm going to heat it at 400 degrees centigrade immediately observe carefully the bonds here are broken so when the bonds here are broken these bonds are going to shift to this particular position so what do i get bonds broken and this is going to come and join here you get ch2 ch2 two moles that is ethene this is cyclobutane and this is ethene so basically this is your rate determining step i'm writing it here rds so in the rds how many are participating don't get confused there are four atoms ma'am no so no it is i said it is only one compound cyclobutane is a single entity so that cyclobutane is only one so molecularity is one yes let us see one more example suppose if i take an acid called <coughs> malic acid right so what is malic acid formula you see it's easy right carbon again link it with one more carbon carbon is tetravalent this side and this side four bonds yes now here you have carboxylic acid hydrogen hydrogen and carboxylic acid this is malic acid to this malic acid it when i'm going to heat it or yes this malic acid when i heat it it immediately forms an isomer right yes 
now just observe one two three four this carboxylic acid just shifted here and right so now what either anything just this molecule isn't it we're just shifting it here you get h h and h, h. now an isomer of this yes now <laughs> this particular isomer or this particular step is rds how many are participating in the rate determining step only one molecule so there's only one molecule so molecularity is molecularity is one that's it so just see the number of molecules and write it right any example you can pick up let me come back to bimolecular reaction bimolecules means there are two reactants participating in the rds so two i have to write two pick a basic h2 plus i2 what does it give it gives hi2 so how many are participating in rds now two so the molecularity of this reaction is molecularity is two that's why it is bimolecular. When I come back to termolecular, ter or tertiary, a ter, 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 ter means uh, three, right? Tri rather. So in trimolecular reactions, suppose if I take your okay, let me write NO plus O2. What do I get? NO2. So two, two plus one, three. So two, two two is a four. So now uh, what happened? Let us see. Oxygens are four. Here also four. Nitrogen two and two. How many are participating in RDS? You have two plus one three molecules participating. Hence the molecularity of this reaction is three. That is the reason these are called trimolecular or termolecular reactions. So I just picked up the examples. You can write any example, but remember that should be a balanced reaction. That, that is important. If it is not a balanced reaction, again the number of molecules will change.